Guys, I wanted to talk about RNG, uh, random number generation. Almost all RPG have RNG, almost all of them with dice, but their approach can vary vastly. And I'm alright with them using dice because dice are my favorite way of randomly generating number. They are quick, they are easy, they are available, and they are fun to roll. And it really annoys me when a game tries to do its RNG with other methods than dice for no good reason. There are reasons to use something else than dice. The, the usual alternative is cards. And some board games do backdraw. I don't know if any RPG ever did this. But backdraw is very similar to cards. And I know of one game using runes, but I don't know much about that game uh, other than that. So what would be a good reason to use cards instead of the dice? Uh, one example is that if you want to avoid repeat result, uh, every dice roll is independent from every other dice roll. So if you have two or more people rolling a dice, you could have a uh, repeat result. Like you could have like a, some result that repeat. If you choose the card and you that you use and you give one to every player, you can make sure that each card is unique. This is an advantage in the Savage World initiative system. You're never gonna have like two people going at the same time. Another reason that can uh, be valid to use cards is if you want to have the odds changing after each draw. Like if you have cards number from one to 10 and every time you pull one, you don't put it back until they're all drawn. Well, once you've drawn a number, you know this result is off the table. Again, I don't know if uh, any RPG per se use that mechanic, it could lead to interesting results, interesting like a gameplay decision. So maybe something to consider if you're designing something. Another thing uh, cards can do well is uh, resource management. Like if you can add or remove cards from a deck, or if you can hold multiple cards in the end and pick which one to play when you need to get a result. What cards should absolutely not be used for is if you you if you draw a card for a result then put it back in the deck and reshuffle this is a moronic use of cards because it's it got none of the specific advantage of that cards can bring and it's much slower than dice if you do that for your game mechanics your game sucks so this is for card let's go back to dice like I said, they are used in a variety of ways. I dislike specialty dice. They usually seem to be included in games to sell more stuff. And there's enough you can do with regular polyhedral, polyhedral dice that you don't really need to come up with the uh, unique ones. So one of my least favorite ways of using dice is, wait for it, the d20 as used in d and in Dungeon Dragon. It's way too swingy, and the capability of the characters have very little impact. Each result on a, on a d20 has a 5% chance of showing, of, of showing up. It's completely linear, like with no bell curve. And if you got like a respectable like plus 3 on your roll, that only swings the result by 15%. And plus 3 is pretty good. But there you are. You only have like you're only like fifty percent more likely to hit or to whatever do what you're trying to do than someone with no bonus at all, and only thirty percent more likely than somebody would have like a minus three. So somebody would be like pretty bad at something. It would only affect the roll by thirty percent. The the odd by thirty percent. Worse than the D twenty is the D one hundred when it's used in the exact same manner as the d20. If all the difficulty step goes by 5%, you might as well just roll a d20. And if they go up by 1%, like, why do you need so much granularity? Many games that use a d100 usually use a, a pair of d10s, uh, one for the 10s and one for zero to nine, like the units. And they have a mechanic where you can inverse the dice. So the the, the tens dies become the unit dies and vice versa. So if you roll like a 69, it become like a 96. And this might justify the, the D100, using a D100, but it's still not one of my favorite system. And it's not about the dice per se, it's the way it's used. 
I mentioned before that uh, I like Pendragon, and this is also a D20 game, but where you have to roll under your skill. So the difference between having a low skill or a high skill does make a big difference instead of a small one, like in traditional D&D. Modifius Conan also use D20, but it's used in a dice pool system where you try to get successes. So a more skilled character or a character in a better situation can do significantly better. And dice pool, for me, it's where it's at. Dice pool, like in the old West End game, like old uh, Star Wars West End, can be fun, where you, you just roll a bunch of D6 and you add them up together. But this can be slow, especially if people are bad at math. You know, just even just adding some a bunch of number can slow down people, bug down people. But a system where you look for a target number is a target number is what I prefer. In uh, Conan 2D20, you roll between 2 and 5D20, depending on the circumstance. Your skills don't give you more dice, they change the target number. Everything under your skill level gives you one success. And in fact, you have like two values for your skill. And if you hit the lower one, it gives you two successes. So you could end up with uh, up to 10 success on a roll. But this is a bit of an unusual way to use a dice pool. Usually you have a skill level that grants you a number of dice and you're looking for a target number, which is fixed or variable. And that is pretty much my favorite way of using dice. Because I, fi I find their, uh, the skill really does matter. And not only that, but also you feel the difference in your hand when you, uh, when you are about to make a roll. Like if you're between rolling one dice because you suck at something or rolling a bunch of dice because you're good at something. And then there's a bunch of uh, intricacy that go beyond the scope of this video, like on the way to use dice pool, the way to modify them and stuff like that. But the main takeaway you should get from this video is don't use something else than dice if you don't have a proper reason to do it. And the other one is the D20 system from D&D kind of suck. So that's about what I want to talk about today. Thank you for watching and take care.